Good morning and welcome back to Mimi's place. Today at my place, I am going to be busy. Um, I had a lot of fun yesterday doing um, my garden and I was so, it, I mean, it was very rewarding, let's put it that way, but I did so much work out there. My body was hurting so much that I didn't really sleep. And today, I feel like I got hit by a Mack truck, which is typical for anyone with fibro. So, I guess this is a condition that wants everyone to end up being a couch potato. But anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I got some garden, gardening done. <sighs> was up all night because I was in such pain. Um... But I'm going to have breakfast now, and I want to have something a little different. I have a few slices of white bread that I want to use up, and I'm like, you know what? Have some French toast. <laughs> and um, I haven't had French toast in a very long time because I never feel like making it. I guess when you want something bad enough, you'll do it. And today I just really want French toast. So that's what I'm going to be having. Um, yeah, I got some videos coming out today I think you're going to be interested in. So if you're not subscribed, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button. And, um, also, uh, welcome back and good morning. If you're new, thank you so much for taking a chance and watching one of my videos. Um, just to recap, a little recap, uh, my channel is about my place and everything that goes on in my place or anything that has anything to do with my place. So this is called Mimi's place. And I, um, I kind of just take a very relaxed approach to my channel. And this is just daily things that I do, um, things that I enjoy, um, tips, tricks, hacks, um, I just try to do a little bit of everything, just share with you what I do throughout my day and throughout my life. So anyway, yeah, yesterday was like in the 70s and today's going to be 75 to 77 or 78 to 80 or something. I don't know. So it's going to be another great day in the garden. Uh, I'm going to try to get some green beans planted. I haven't been able to do anything because I had to get my garden set up. So now that it's set up, um, I'm going to be planting green beans. Um, a lot of things from my arrow garden went outside in the garden yesterday. And uh, my zucchini plants that I started indoors literally had flowers on them. So they had to go outside. They had the buds for flowers. So I'm going to be getting squash really early. Um, one thing I dread is going out there now and checking to make sure that nothing ate anything. <laughs> it just seems like the plants are so much safer indoors. But, um, so I got some of that, you know, that cheesy looking fencing you put all around your garden to keep animals out. Yeah, I have a roll of that. So I might end up putting some of that up. Um, there's this little, uh. I don't know if he's a groundhog or a hedgehog or whatever he is, but um, he comes out certain times a day. I know exactly where he lives. He lives a few streets over under someone's deck. <laughs> and every day, like mid-morning and then late afternoon, he decides that I'm going to go over to Mimi's house. She's got all the good stuff. <laughs> and then he'll hide. If he sees me coming out, um, he'll hide. And, uh, and I'll tell him, I'll sit there and go, I see you. And, and he pops his head back again. And I'm like, I see you. And he pops back. So he'll hide under anything, but there's really no place to hide in that yard anymore. So he's out of luck this year. <laughs> he is kind of cute. I mean, he's just doing what he was born to do. Eat people's gardens, you know? But he is really cute. Next time I see him out there, I'll try to get a video of him. He's just, he's really adorable. He's a pain in the butt, but he's adorable. So, yeah, I'm going to be putting that little fence up. And uh, then I got some things to do in the kitchen. 
things that I call quiet prepping. And you're going to find out what that is when I do the video. I have some informative videos coming up as well. So it's going to be a, a packed day for Mimi today. Might do some errands. I don't know. I've got to get back to the store and get some orange juice. Because it is on sale and I neglected to get it the other day. So, that's what I'll be doing. So my coffee is almost done perking. I don't know if you can see it or hear it. Um, yeah, stovetop coffee is the best. <laughs> if you can get your hands on one of these stovetop coffee pots, I'm telling you. You will never, ever, you won't, you won't go out for coffee anymore. You won't want any other coffee maker. This is the way to go. I think you could get them like at thrift stores, yard sales, especially if people are having estate sales because, um, like if it was their parents' house or something, you know, they're the older generation who, even though they may not have used it, the last years of their life, you know, they might have had a, a curate or something that was easy for them to handle. I can guarantee you they have one of these hanging around their basement that their kids want to get rid of. So shop around and uh, get yourself a coffee pot. Makes great coffee. Really, really good. And it doesn't take that long. Three minutes. So my coffee is just about done. My French toast is done. So I'm glad that you guys came along with me, cook with me. And, uh, yep, it's time to eat. Mimi's hungry. <laughs> I feel like a lumberjack. Filling up the belly before I go out to work. But here's my French toast, and it looks so good. Yeah. I can't wait to have this. Okay, guys, I will catch you on my next video. Just want to pop on, say good morning. I will be live at 9 o'clock today, so come back. I'll catch you later on my next video. Have a great day. God bless.